Yo, what's going on guys? I am Joe Alvarez and welcome back. Today I wanna to teach you how to make your drums the knock using a very minimal process within Logic, only using Logic stock plugins. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna play this beat real quick and then I'm gonna deconstruct on how I did it. All right, cool. So notice the drums are real punchy, they're in your face, real crispy. The transients are really nice. When you're trying to do lo-fi and boom bat type of styles, you want those transients to be sitting right on top of everything so those drums can stand out in the mix, have a nice, a nice warmth and a nice punchiness to it. So let me mute the instruments, the samples. And this is what I started with right here. So I started with the... Uh, just a do it science kit, uh, doing science kit from a drum machine designer. And I just slapped on a little bit of the enveloper, which can be found under the dynamics enveloper. And then I just pushed up the gain to about 26%, which is giving the attack just a little bit of a forward uh, action to your ear so your perception is going to sound like it's much louder but it's really not so this is what it sounds like without it and this is with it so it's real subtle just bringing those nice uh, crispy claps to the forefront and giving a hi-hat a little more attack but this is where the magic really happens oh and here's a bonus tip if you want to get some of that boxiness out of your drums, usually try to scoop out around 200 hertz to 300 hertz just to get a little of that boxiness out. So this is what it sounds like without it. And this is with it. Notice how the low end sounds a lot better and that nice, that nasty boxiness kind of gets out the way. So then what I do now is I copy this uh, drum loop and then what I want to do is just change the drum sound so I'm using the depth charge uh, drum kit and then this is where I get a little extreme so this is what it sounds like with everything on it and this is what it sounds like with everything off so Let's start to deconstruct what I did. So the first thing I did is put the enveloper on there and then I'm bringing up the gain of the attack just really high up. So it's gonna really over accent those transients. So your ear is gonna pick up those transients real quick. And then I'm taking everything off the release and bringing the time to about 2000 milliseconds. So it's basically cutting off the tail end and only letting the transients uh, come through. So this is what it sounds like without it. And this is with it. Notice how the transition is just really in your face, has a nice texture, and um, just really, it's going to sound really punchy once you layered it into the original loop. And then I'm coming over here to the Fat effects, which is under multi effects, fat effects, and I'm just rolling off everything below 33, uh, 337 hertz, and I'm putting some soft saturation on that, and that's all I'm really doing. And this is what it sounds like without it, and this is with it. So nice, that low res and the high res bump is just bringing that nice crunchiness just to the forefront, that nice punchiness of the mid range right to the front. And that saturation is just gonna cook everything to make it sound nice and tight. And then I am using the uh, platinum verb, nothing special. I just have the dry to 100, the wetness is 26, and everything else is at default. And just putting that in a little space so it can breathe and have its own dimension within that drum loop. And 
It's just changing up the character. Nothing really crazy, but just really subtle. So when I mix it back in, check this out. I'm going to play the original loop without the actual um, loops, without the actual process loop that I put on top of that. So, and then I'm going to blend that right in. Notice the difference. So this is without that effect on it. And this is with it. Night and day difference. And this can be applied to many different applications. You can use this on a lot of different percussive sounds. You can use this on the bass sounds, on plucky sounds, piano sounds, just to over accent that initial transient and then blend it into the original signal. So you're not processing the original signal too much or you're just layering it with different drum sounds and just using the transients as an effect. Anyway, I hope you guys like what you see. Leave those likes, leave that subscription. I appreciate the comments. Peace.